by now, you should have downloaded the SoundForge software onto your computer. But uh, here's the uh, SoundForge icon. I'm going to open it up. Uh, first thing you want to do is load in your program. Now, you can do that a couple different ways. First, you can extract from a CD. So if I put an audio CD in my tray and put it in, it would show me the cuts and I'd be able to select them and extract them. Or um, I could simply load them in in real time. There's other digital recorders that will allow you to load in through a USB port. But for now, I'm going to show you how we're going to load this in um, as a real time load in. So I've got my audio device plugged in. You can see as I speak, the VU meter moves just as if you had a mini disc recorder or um, another kind of tape or digital device hooked up to your line in on your computer. Um, you'd see your VU meters moving and just uh, rewind it, get ready to go. Hit record and start your program. Now you can see that when I'm speaking is loading in to the computer. When I hit the button again, it stops. I've got my mode set to create a new window for each take. There's several different options to choose from. I recommend this option because each time you record, it creates a new window. You could call this part two and then do your lesson or whatever you want to do or message to somebody if you're going to send an audio email. You can also do MP3 files to post to your website this exact same way. You create another window each time you put it in record. One more thing I want to show you here before we close it. If you go into the new section, open it up. You've got some options here on sample rate, uh, bit rate and channels. Now I'm recording 44.1, which is CD quality, CD standard quality, mono 16 bit. You can hook it up to stereo if you want to record a stereo recording, although you'll see that it takes up a lot more space. So you have less space to store once you're done. So I'm, uh, I'm recording my voice lesson with mono 44.1. I hit OK. All right, we've recorded that. Let's close this box now. And let's just say that I want to save this file. You create another window each time you put it in record. Let's say I want to save that as a separate file. Come into File, Save As. We're going to call this Part 3. Okay, that's saved now. You create another window each time you put it in record. Now that's saved, we can close that. We'll close that out. And let's come into the second one here. It creates a new window. You could call this part two and then do your lesson or whatever you want to do or message to somebody if you're going to send an audio email. Okay, let's call this part two file. Save as, and you can go back and work on these later after you've recorded everything that you want to record. Okay, and I'm not going to do that to the last one. You get the idea. Uh, a couple other things I want to show you, but to do that, I'm going to have to open a file that I already have loaded in the computer. It's an International Federation interview that was done by Roy Shepard over in the UK. Um, you'll see the box that had just opened here. I can left click and hold it as I move my mouse on this blue line and move my box wherever I want on the screen. I could also um, enlarge the box so that it's nice and big. And I've got a couple magnifiers I want to point out to you here. This one magnifies it left to right. So the sound wave actually spreads out more left to right. This magnifier in the lower left corner increases it vertically so that you can see what you're editing a little bit better. I'm going to shrink this back down here. Let's just listen to a section and we're going to select this Fee or no fee? Too many speakers in the United Kingdom. I'm going to shrink this back here. Speak for free, therefore devaluing the entire profession of speaking. People should not speak at any event 
corporate or otherwise, unless they are getting a specific contracted comeback from it. But what would you say to somebody who's running a business and the speaking provides them with the means to get qualified leads that can lead to very lucrative consultancy and other training perhaps in the future? You said the word perhaps. I believe that every speaker should have a very specific idea of what definitely they're going to get back from the client that's booked them to do the speech, that the, the client who's getting a specific value from them, what they are getting back from that client. To have some vague idea of some possible vague maybe benefit in the medium to long term, I don't think is good enough and actually detracts from the value of our whole profession. Okay, that's a good spot to, to stop, to create a sub file that we're gonna edit to. Now, when you make a sub file, um, I'm going to end it right here, and I'm, I'm moving my cursor. Uh, if I didn't oh, move I my, if I didn't move my cursor and hit the space bar or the stop button here, the next time I wanted to play it, it would go all the way back to the beginning where we started from. And the way to move this is you just move your mouse and left click and that's where it puts your cursor in the medium to long term i don't think is good enough and actually detracts from the value of our whole profession so what sir so this is where i want to end i'm going to click on the m key it makes a marker this is a great thing and you can also right click on that little flag there and hit edit and call this end of part 1 and we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to take and we're going to double left click highlights this whole first section from the very beginning to where I put that marker. And then I'm going to left click and hold as I drag my mouse down here. And I just made a sub clip. Identical digital, no quality loss in seconds. We're going to work on this file. But let's save it before we start working on it. And I, I left clicked in it again and got rid of the highlight. And we're going to call this save as fee no fee part one hit the save there we go so let's bring this up here a little bit i'm going to cover the old original load and let's do a little bit of editing by a profession of speaking people should not speak at any event let's raise this a little bit otherwise. make it bigger unless they are getting a specific contracted comeback from it but what would you say to somebody who's running a business and the speaking provides them with the means to get qualified leads that can lead to very lucrative consultancy and other training perhaps in the future you said the word perhaps i believe that every speaker should have um just to show you how to edit we're going to take out you said the word perhaps you said the word perhaps there's two ways to edit the first way is you can use the M key where your cursor is move it over to here after the S and put it again and you'll hear this is the S and what I did was put a marker here and a marker here we can double left click highlight that area and hit the delete key that section is now gone Think perhaps in the future I believe that every speaker should have... Now, let's say we decided we don't want to do that. Oops, I made a mistake. There's this great button here that, boy, wouldn't it be cool if we had one of these with life. It's the undo button. Click on it once. There's that piece back. You said the word perhaps. Another way we can edit is we can uh, right-click uh, and delete these flags first. It's a right-click function. And um, let's just highlight this. I'm holding down my left click and I'm dragging my mouse to highlight it hit the delete key perhaps in the future I believe that every speaker should I like that so we're gonna control s we just saved it perhaps in the future now I watch this go by here there's a little stutter here that the, the client them to do the speech that the, the client let's um, blow this up so I can see that that that, that, that right here that the I highlighted it by putting my cursor there and dragging it over to the right. I'm going to hit the delete key. Do the speech. The client who's getting a specific value. For it sounded good. I'm going to control S. Control S is our save. Uh, we've done a little bit of editing there.
pretty simple process. Highlight a word. Very, very, very. Get the delete key, it's gone. Have very specific, have very specific. You don't like what you did? Hit the go back. Okay, that's a great way to edit.